Yo, 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 we back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze. And the guy again. Wolverine, we back for episode 155. One, five. Five. Man, stay got alive, it. ain't no job. But before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Right now. Like, comment, and share. Right now. It mm-hmm. helps us out tremendously on the algorithm. Me and Wolf appreciate all the love y'all been giving us. We do. But y'all ain't been subscribing, so hit that bell. Beep. It's us. And make sure it's all notifications, you heard me? Alright, man, we finna just dive right into these YouTube streets, man. Yesterday, on Joke No, Joke no Choke Podcast, 50 Cent Son Marquise was in there. It says, 50 Cent Eldest Son Marquise was introduced to the world. And his father's first breakthrough video, Wankster, born October 13, 1996, and he is a spitting image of his pops. The child can be seen in the video playing with action figures and sporting a jersey and a big chain. Over the years, he would pop back up in dad's videos as he, the world watched him grow up before our eyes. 50 Cent credit his boy for motivating him early on in his career. When my son came into my life, my priorities changed because I wanted to have the relationship with him that I didn't have with my father. 50 also has um, tattoos of Marquise on his right bicep. Unfortunately, a strained relationship with Marquise's mother would eventually prove to put an end to his relationship with his son. Mm. Shaquita Tomskin and 50 Cent has yeah. been at odds for years <laughs> with 50 claiming that she got greedy early on and eventually turned her son against him. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, 50 Cent cut him off when he turned 18 and hasn't spoken to him ever since. Marquis said his dad only paid 6700 a month and that wasn't enough for him to live off of. And he said his dad is a multimillionaire and he should get more money. You know what I'm saying? So well, if we seen the guy on joke, that's no, no joke podcast, you know what I'm saying? He's claiming that 6700 wasn't enough to live off of when he was growing up. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about that? $6,700 a month. That's enough for me and you and him and Which is, my, what, $81,000 a year? To live off of. Come on, man, bro. You know that's way more than enough money for somebody to live off of. Yeah. Some of these cats are living off of 13, 15, some some baby mothers seven hundred dollars a month. Getting seven hundred dollars. Some people got social support. security and living and making seven hundred fifty dollars a month. Right. <clears throat> so, you know, and then this this dude crying about he gave you sneaker stores, yeah, all these other things, and you had the opportunity to create your own, bro. To create your own lane. And what a lot of people didn't know that Fifty Cent gave him an opportunity to make money. You know, Mm -hmm. um, he bought out the uh, sneaker store in Harlem and told his son, you can start your online business. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ship you the sneakers because he had moved to Atlanta at this point. You know, you start your own business, you make your own money, you know, because I'm not going to keep buying you shoes. It's cheap as hell to live in Atlanta. Yeah. I lived in Atlanta at the time he was living. This is 05 when he lived in Atlanta. I'm sure. So uh, condos was like $800. We lived in a condo. So condos were $800 down in Atlanta at this time. I'm quite sure you you get a condo for $2,500 a month. Probably now. I'm telling you back then. I'm saying $2,500. You still got another four bands. And, and, and then I think his mom is poisoning him, putting all types of stuff in his head because she wanted to live off the money too yeah. and not get a job. Yeah, so she don't want. She wanted quiet. She feeling like she's feeling nah, like getting twenty thousand a month. All she had to do was get a, a job and make forty thousand a year. Now y'all at one hundred and twenty thousand a year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why do I got to take care of you? You know, and she don't want to work. She want that celebrity status. She feel like he not she was with her with no more. He, she felt like she was with him when he first turned that tide to get money. But she don't understand. He lost a lot of money after that situation. But he still gave them a million dollars. He went to child support by himself and said, "Look, I'm giving you a million dollars for the next ten years. It's gonna be dispersed out every month at sixty-seven hundred dollars." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So within the 10 years, she had got a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? He went to the child support office and did that himself. 
you know, but he said he's not taking care of her. You know what no, I'm saying? He, don't have, he shouldn't. You know? She feel obligated. You know how some obligated people. and entitled. Yeah, very entitled. And his son is spoiled and entitled. You know, you should have stayed with your dad. You know what I'm saying? You want to take pictures with the op son. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? That was very disrespectful. disrespectful. And that's yeah. why he cut him off because of that picture. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you got to think like, man. This dude, dude almost killed me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You would have been born, motherfucker. <laughs> right. You, what you thinking? Like, that was crazy. You know, she got pregnant right after. Yeah, right after that happened. Right after that happened. And you got, that's when you came. You wasn't, uh, you know. And like, um, he should have appreciated all the things his dad did, but see, he messed up because his dad could have been putting you in movies now and them TV shows, making, helping you up. 50 is, when he was telling that story, it seemed like he would have helped him if he didn't turn on him like that. He wanted to help him. Yeah. I mean, you know, but come on, man. You trying to cause the demise of your own father. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's, 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 that's sick, man. man. That hurts my trusted. heart, man, because I never had a dad. I grew up without a dad. I ain't have no dad paying me child support. You know what I'm saying? People in our time coming up, you know, hardly everybody in the hood really didn't have no dad like that. I had, my dad was around. Yeah, your dad was around. Like I said, there was very few dads around. You know what I'm saying? Remember that when we was coming up. That's so, why I'm so strong as a strong father because I had a role model. I never had a role model. I never had a dad. You know what I'm saying? So I would have appreciate that. Oh, that would have been love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real. That's real, though. Yeah, that's crazy you know, to disrespect your father who was actually trying. Who was and, there? And it wasn't. I mean, you like, know, you. I mean, like you, like you said, it's entitlement. He felt like he should be a multi-millionaire because his dad a millionaire. No, you, you got to work. You have to create your own. Even though LeBron and Bronny know, they know that they're millionaires. They know they still got to work in yeah, the gym. Yeah, they playing in the gym and playing They still ball. have to play in the gym. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bronny still working to be a basketball player himself. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because um, he want to create his own millions. Marquise could have just followed his dad's direction because 50 is a great businessman. Yeah. He gave you a layup, man, with the shoe store. They said StockX is a billion dollar company mm -hmm. now. And he was on it before StockX blew up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, oh my God. But listening to your mom turned them against him. You know, so he should be mad at her. Yeah, but he not. I don't know, man. But let us know what y'all think, man, about Marquise 50 Cent son turning against his dad and saying $6,700 is not, not enough, enough money for him. Let us know if you think $6,700 is enough for you to <laughs> Right. All right, man. And uh, the Double XL magazine, Jim Jones was in there and he said he would take a dinner over getting a million dollars in cash, man. <laughs> about he already money. rich. You yeah. know, if he was broke like us, I'm quite sure he wouldn't. And I wouldn't take the dinner, man. I'm like, man, I take the money, man. I meet you at the top, my dude. Right. Then we had that conversation when I'm at the top. Right now, you just saying have a dinner. You're not introducing me to no resources, right? You know, like. Duh. And even if he did say, oh, you need to invest in Bitcoin or you need to invest in this, the money at? and this. But I don't have no money to invest. I still need that million dollars. Yeah. You know, I'll have a conversation with you after I or, get the million. Or, or, or I can say it like this. Okay, you can give me 500000 and I'll have the conversation. Yeah. But because therefore, I can, when I am introduced to a resource or introduce something I can have investment in, I can have the money to invest. But other than that, I mean, right. you know, the conversation. The deal is um, either a million dollars or a conversation oh, with Diddy. Man, what Diddy going to really tell me? <laughs> right. like, I don't want to go to Diddy's Island. I don't want to go to Diddy's Island. Everybody go to Diddy's go. Island and don't have the sexual assault case. Right. I don't want to go to so I just want the money. I just want the money. Give me the bag, bro. Right. I appreciate it. What yeah, I, I can do my own investments. I can man. do my own resources. And you can just write it off as a... Uh, Tax write-off. Yeah, you can write that million bucks off, bro. Yeah. Chill out. Just give me that, bit, that million. Right. You know, you blow them on parties like the lock said. All these million dollar parties and you still charging them. And then they was like, um, he was on the, Puffy was on the breakfast club. And he was like, yo, I don't owe anybody. I got receipts. You know what I'm saying? Name an artist. And then Manny was like, yo, you owe me three million, bro. What, what you talking about? Then Jada kissing him was like, 
Y'all play, you st- we only gave you one album and you still got us in a t- bogus contract. Nah. You know? And then, then he something knows, yo. And then the making the band, they was like, they was in a 10 album deal and only got 7,500, 75,000 to split between all six of them. Wow. <laughs> they got 20. That's 000. what they on for, man. They ain't reading. When he would send me to this, uh, to that walk to get that cheese stick, I would have been like, bro, I appreciate the promotion that you already gave me here on making the band, but I'm gonna take this fame and this notoriety and I'm gonna go and do my own thing. Yeah. I'm not walking and going to get you no cheesecake, my dude. Yeah. No. He, he's a crook, man. He robbed everybody that was on everybody Bad Boy. Everybody on Bad Boy. Every There's nobody person, on Bad man. Boy is rich right now besides yeah. Diddy. Right. Diddy's the only rich cat, cat off of Bad Boy. Right. Old girl was working at a, a restaurant from a... Uh, Sarah. From a uh, Total. Oh, yeah, Keisha. Keisha, working at a restaurant. I mean, the rest of them, you know, dead or in jail. Or yeah, a lot of them broke. Big, Biggie gone, Craig Wright gone, I mean, Black Rob gone. Mace got his money from 112, being a 112 broke. They yeah, they, he put them in a 10 album deal, too. Yeah, and they can they cannot make no money. They, and then 112 tried to negotiate. He was like, nah, y'all need to sell more records before I can negotiate. And they only had a hundred thousand between the four of them. Four of them, man. man. you crazy, bro. Twenty-five thousand dollars for all that they didn't make. Man. Peaches and cream, all that went platinum. Bro, Biggie, a Puffy made a lot of money. Carl yeah. Tom, man. I he, mean, he made a he lot play, he of money. He played all them all artists, except bro. Loon. Loon, the only one had got because it. he got his writer's credit and he negotiated before he even wrote a song for yeah. uh, Diddy. You know what I'm saying? He was the only smart one. Yeah. And then he quit <laughs> once yeah. he got caught up in that. But he got caught up in some other shit. And yeah. Jail. But at least he got his publishing and his uh, writer's credit in the yeah. in the beginning. You know. Yeah. He's like, I need a girl. Okay, I need my money. Right. <laughs> First off, he was like, he didn't write nothing until he got his money. You know. And that's the thing. People are so hungry to get on. Back then with Diddy, oh man, I'm just gonna sign anything. Bad boy, read I'm this on contract. Bad boy. I'm on Bad Boy, and Bad Boy uh, screwing the crap out of you. Everybody, everybody, every everybody. There's, there's no artists off of Bad Boy, like I said, rich right now. Yeah, everybody. Or really struggling. made their own things. Faith or Evans bro- or broke she out. And- or, you know, Faith is still ain't did nothing really. Ain't hey, nobody know. really left and went to another label. Or yeah. made money on their own. Yeah, everybody stuck because they still owe him. Under his mom name, yeah. That's what makes it. Your mama got receipts, right? That's what makes it. Your mom. Your mom. <laughs> That's <laughs> what same thing. Uh, the lock said, yeah. The lock said, it's oh yeah, your mom has got our album. You know what I'm saying? It's our publishing right. right. It's all in your mom name. So now they got to sue his mom, or yeah. Man, puff crazy man. I would never sign with him. If I do any writing or any producing for him, I need my check first. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. But let us know what, to this right now. <laughs> let us know what y'all think, man, about uh, Jim Jones saying he'll take the dinner over a million dollars and uh, Puff Daddy robbing all the artists on Bad Boy. Robbing the artists. All right, man, we got to move on to the shout outs, man. We want to give the shout outs to the top contributors of this month. The first one is Anthony Vinny, Sherman Black, Jay Progress. Job. Gucci Dan and Terrence Banks, man. All right, T Banks, I see you. Thank y'all for supporting the channel and supporting the group, I'm man. To y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel and make sure y'all stream Alpha King today on all platforms: Spotify, Tidal, Apple, YouTube Music. Wolverine, you got any shout-outs? Uh, shout out to me. And happy birthday to my oldest son, little Steve. Happy man. birthday, Steve. We out of here. One love. Peace. Peace.